With the first pick in the 1997 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tim Duncan from Lake Forest University. As soon as we drafted him, as if it was a tough choice, we took a lot of phone calls. People would call and say, hey, we'll give you something, you know, just pick anybody on our team, we'll use it. And I said, yeah, okay, thank you. Pop, here's Tim. Okay. <laughs> So, Pop, all I've heard about from, from since I've gotten here was that you're going to trade me. That's all I've heard for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> but as soon as we drafted him, I went down to St. Croix. And we just spent whatever, I can't even remember now, four or five days together. And we just go down to the beach and we go swim. I wanted to know who he was. And he probably wanted to know who I was, too. I'd watch him swim. I'd go, my gosh, if he's, if he's as good a basketball player as he is a swimmer, this is going to be pretty cool. TD, I was going to ask you, what were your expectations about yourself when you, when you got selected? I didn't know what to expect in the NBA. I didn't know if I was going to be good or, or, or average or, or bad or what it was. Right after I get drafted, Poppy's like, uh, their summer camp, do you want to go play? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to play. I'm, of course, I want to get out there and get as much experience as possible. And I show up for that, and I sucked. <laughs> really? I was awful. In <laughs> Summer League? Yeah, I was bad. I have an Oster tag story to prove it. <laughs> I was bad. First of all, you know, the, the number one draft pick doesn't often go to the Summer League. So I knew we had somebody with character. And one of the first times down the court, Timmy went to get a shot, and Oster tag sent it like in the 10th row. And what was really cool about it, Timmy didn't, no expression whatsoever. It just, that's just what happened. He went down to the other end, and Osher Tank comes across, and he sends his you know, up into like the 10th row. And didn't change his expression at all. You guys know how I love that. Yeah. So I knew that we had somebody that was a hell of an athlete, that had character, that you know, wasn't going to be beating his chest and doing all that silly stuff. Now he came to training camp, and David Robinson watched him play. And about the second practice, the whole offense changed. David was now in the dunker spot, and Timmy was on the block catching the ball, and David never even said a word. It could be, you know, his team now, and uh, it's a great chance for him to do it. It's, you know, training camp is time to come in here and really establish yourself. And everybody would always ask him, what did you do to David? What did you say to David to buy this? You know, this new kid comes in, and all of a sudden, David's not getting all his touches. And I just told the truth. Nothing. Never said a word to David. And Timmy just grew and grew from there. The San Antonio Spurs win their first ever NBA championship. Tony, when you got here, did you know right away that you could win? Or you were like, a, I don't know what's going on. You I don't know anything, dude. Yes, I did. You know, we did win. Yes, I did. I watched the NBA a lot when I was in France. I wake up at 3 in the morning, and my little brother, his favorite player was David Robinson because he didn't want to be a Bulls fan because me and TJ, we were Bulls fans, so he was a Spurs fan, and he loved David, and David came to France, and we went to see him uh, play, and he hugged me with my brother like this. We always watched the Spurs on TV because of him. So I saw the 99 when he won the championship and stuff like that, so when I got drafted, I was like, man, life is, is funny. How long before we gave him the ball and said, you're the point guard? Oh, five games. Five games. My rookie year. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. I was scared. I was scared when you told me you starting because I knew TD <laughs> was very close with Antonio Daniels. And I was like, man, Pop's doing this after five games. Timmy's going to hate me. <laughs> he's not, not going to talk to me. <laughs> he looked at me with a raised eyebrow like, are you serious? I, 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 what, are you, what are you doing? I was uh, scared of how he was going to react. Like, I felt like I was ready and, and I was ready to take the challenge, but I was worried of how he was going to react. <laughs> and I, I don't know if you remember that, Pop Ben was like, are you sure Timmy is okay with it? Like, I don't I know do if you remember, remember that. I was like, you sure he gave the blessing? <laughs> because... <laughs>
<laughs> Timmy will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy will be fine. He'll figure it out. He allows that kind of stuff to happen. I help you, uh -huh. you help me, you know? Uh -huh. No? We got it. We got it. It don't work like that? We work the right way. We work together. <laughs> You're the point guard. You do the setup. Could you tell he had something in him for, se for season? Or not really? No, I mean, he's a little skinny kid. He was fast. He could score. I don't know if he could be a point guard. Timmy, 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 right side. Uh, uh, he was 19. I know, but, but Avery was our point guard, and Avery was... A point guard. Yeah, a point guard. <laughs> like, he controlled everything and told everybody where to go. I remember and Pop when I first arrived. He was never like, let I, ball I go. Be, <laughs> I want you to be like Avery Johnson. And me and my head, no disrespect to Avery, I was like, I don't want to be Avery Johnson. <laughs> 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 I want to be better than Who's that. the other guy, though? John Stockton. Stockton. You, know, you show me that, a paper and you say John here. Stockton, and you're here, and you're here, and we'd we like to be in the Here's middle. a true point guard over yeah. here. The other end of the scale, this is you, Tony. You're, you're over here. <laughs> Whatever my, you are now. Yeah, my goal is, and I don't want to make you John Stockton, but I like to bring you here, which is the most difficult place to be, really. Find that happy middle. Oh, nice pass, Tony Parker. Good job, Tony. Thank you.